Hello YouTube, thought we'd do another video here and today's video is going to be two parts. Part one is going to be the GMRS antenna, the Boughton antenna that I bought. We're going to compare that to a homemade antenna. We're going to do a distance test to see if there's a difference. This antenna here, I believe it was between $60 and $70, I think. I'll post a link to that. This is a 6, I want to say 6 dBi gain antenna. If I remember, it's a, it's a high gain, the Revis high gain antenna. And uh, so part one, this video is going to be a distance test using that antenna. So, and the setup we're going to use... This is kind of going to be the, sta the, the standard setup we're going to be doing now since we got things kind of set up here. We're going to use a handheld hooked up to the laptop that's going to act as a repeater function to record and play back. The repeater itself is going to be the stock Redivus RT97 repeater, which is going to be back in here. Just a stock repeater. We got a watt meter hooked up. So I'm gonna show you the SWRs and the uh, watt meter, or the watt uh, reading, so you know. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. So hopefully you can see that about 6.35 watts, just a little over 6 watts. SWR is 1.01. Like I said, stock repeater, stock power supply that came with the repeater. That's what we're going to be using. The handheld in the other room is what's recording my voice and playing it back through the repeater. So let's hit the road. I'm going to put you on pause and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're at the first location, which is 0.8 miles away from the repeater as the crow flies. Uh, it's a clear day as you can tell in the video, there's no clouds. Um, so let's go ahead and give her a test. Radio check, one, two, three, four, radio check, one, two, three, four. Sounding good, uh, and just so everyone knows, I'm using a handheld on high power, and the frequency we're using is the 462.625 as the receive, as the transmit, it's going to be 46, 467.625, uh, it's a split frequency because of the repeater we're using. And as you can tell, when I unkey, you hear the squelch break. That tells you we're using a real repeater, I guess, for a lack of a better word. So there you have it. Let's go to the next location. I'll put you on pause, and we'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, we're at the other location, which is going to be 1.37 miles away as the crow flies. Uh, GMRS. Let's see how it sounds. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Sounding good. We'll go to the next location and I will put you on pause and we'll be right back. Okay, we're at the other location which is 1.5 miles away as the crow flies. Let's go ahead and test it and see how it sounds. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Sounding good at 1.5 miles away. So let's go to the next location and I will put you on pause and we'll be right back. 
All right, now we're at uh, the next location, which is about two miles away from the repeater as the crow flies. Let's see if we can hit the repeater. I know sometimes it gets a little sketchy when I'm down in this area, so let's let's try it once. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Sounding pretty good today. Roger, radio check. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do it one more time. Testing, one, two, three, four. Not bad, not bad. Um, so there, so we'll go to the next location. Um, I do know that I've had uh, some people ask, well, wouldn't you get better reception if you had like a mobile unit with a, 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 a antenna on the outside of the car? And oh yes, definitely. I would probably go even further yet because a mobile unit is, uh, well, some of them are 50 watts, some are 20, some are 15, but but yeah, having any antenna on the outside of the car would, would probably help quite a bit. Um, I don't want to do that, and there's a few reasons why. I want people to see what does a handheld do. Because it seems like most people, when they're wanting to know distance, it, it sounds like a lot of people want to know for like hunting, uh, obviously they're going to be carrying a handheld, they're not going to have a mobile unit with them, or any type of um, uh, crowd control at a, a at a uh, event. Um, a lot of the security guards are going to have two-way radios. So this, the whole purpose of this channel, or part of the, or part of the purpose, is to show people if you have a repeater set up, somewhat of a you know not a high-end repeater like you like as you can see in my videos, and uh, and you're using handheld radios. How well does it work? You know, real life, real world, that's kind of why I, I use the handhelds. Just thought I'd explain that a little bit. Okay, on to the next distance, or the next location, and I will put you on pause, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, at the other location, this is 2.91 miles away as the crow flies. Let's see if we can hit the repeater from here. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Definitely static key, but we can make it out and we seem to be hitting the repeater. Let's try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Not too bad. Now this is uh, 2.91 miles away as the crow flies. So let's go ahead and go to our last location. And I'm going to put you on pause and we will be right back. Okay guys, at the last location, which is 2.12 miles away as the crow flies. This is... Um, in a different direction and uh, it's a little closer. We'll do a radio check here and see how she sounds. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll try it again here. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. A little static over in this direction today. One more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check.
I don't think I hit the repeater that time. Oh. I did. Definitely a static key. Kind of hard to hit it. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So, um, there you have it. Like I said, this is in a different direction. Even though it's closer, it's in a different direction than the last location. So, um, and this is a good point how one spot further away could be really good reception. Another spot being closer could not have such good reception um, due to the uh, you know, trees and whatnot um, in that area. So, this concludes part one of the GMRS uh, two-way radio uh, distance test using a Boughton antenna. The part two, we're gonna switch it out to a homemade antenna and we're gonna see if there's a difference. So stay tuned and if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you.